Previously, we visited Sao Sao, OnlyFans, and Japonesa. This time, we're trying some Hong Kong food from Fukia, some good sh coffee, and something nostalgic from Lunas. Over here. Okay. Oh, there. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Okay. Fukia. Finally. Hong Kong roasts. Hong Kong roasts. Oh, nice. Okay. Place looks good, man. Yeah. So this is accent. Hong yeah. Kong food. I'm right here in the middle of Popeshan. I can see them preparing it. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> I love it when you can see the the roast duck yeah. hanging. Ooh. Wow, that looks good. Roasted duck combination, sir. Uh huh. This one is the roasted duck. Okay. The char siu. Okay. And the Hong Kong style crispy pork belly. Nice. Wow. And with the side dish of the jellyfish and also the century. Oh, this is a jellyfish. Oh. Moving that over to your side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one is our best seller, the pa cow. Okay. This one is a shark spin, and this is our shrimp shaw mai with crab roux. Nice, nice. And this one is our shop mouth. Wow. It's a nice. full experience. I'm gonna go with staple pork belly. You start with the familiar. <laughs> you start with sure. the familiar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good pork belly, I have to say. It does bring you back to... Okay. To like, the streets of Hong Kong. To the streets of Hong Kong. You know yeah. that Hong Kong was my first trip out of the country? Really? I did it by myself. Yeah? I was... Backpacking through Hong Kong. And you're right, this reminds me a lot of stuff that I've been stuffing myself with in that trip. Walking down the streets of Hong Kong is in the food. I'm gonna go to Hong Kong with you. We are already in Hong Kong, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Dude, we totally ate it the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> the century egg had been there for, for centuries, man. <laughs> right, it was right there in our plate, but we didn't eat it. It's been there for centuries, you're right. <laughs> no. I can wait a few more minutes. No, okay, okay. But no, I'm gonna we'll try, we'll try, we'll try. try it now. Okay. So have you tried the century egg before? I don't think I have. Dude, this is my first time. That's why, we, look, look at us. We're struggling, <laughs> yeah, we're with, struggling, the, to get it. We're struggling with the Aha. chopsticks. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. It's good. Mm. Yeah. I like it. It's good. It's just it's subtle. Like egg. It's subtle. I yeah. Love it. Yeah. Okay. We should have had it before the things, before the other things. Yeah, you're right, this Freshly squeezed lemonade from Fukia. I will partake in the gulaman. The, and they say that's the Lucky. that's their This is the best selling best selling that's drink. Mmm. Right. Ooh. That's so refreshing. Ah, I'm happy with this. Really? This black lemon, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order that later on. It's really good. Very good, yeah. So Grace, what shop is this again? Asado this Asado Shopa. Shopa. With the lobster, uh, with sriracha on the side. Mm. We have I've never tried. Food. I've never tried it with sriracha. Mm. Have you tried asado with I don't think asado I have. Shopa with sriracha? That's interesting. We can try that. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. That's a different way to eat. Mm. Oh, great shop. I couldn't remember what it's called. <laughs> Alright, we still have a long way to go. But if you do want to see a mukbang, <laughs> do leave in the comments below. You know, maybe we can make that happen. Let us know. <laughs> no food crawl will be complete without some really good coffee. Some good coffee. <laughs> we are here in, in good chat coffee. Um, we have four pastries in front of us. Mm -hmm. We have classic croissants, uh -huh. we have the Nutella Turon, Nutella Turon. and guava cheese rolls. Guava so. cheese rolls. Left or right? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. For this. That is some good man. <laughs> it's sweet. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit savory. A little bit, yeah. I like it. I really like it. It's a, it's a good take on a roll. And it's just right that it's not too rich, as you know, for starters. Yeah. And from there, we go on to a more sweet, but I'm guessing. Let me wash it off with the salted caramel coffee, I believe. Nice. Nice. Cheers. Cheers, sir. 
happen. So the story for this is, it's how to run is made, but basically there's a surprise in the middle, which is Natalia, <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go, let's try it. I'm a sucker for sweet things, you know? This is right up my alley. That wakes you up after the food crawl. Right. Mmm. Yes. Right. What I like about this place, the vibe is just, you can't beat the vibe. Yeah. And it's easy to spot too from the street. There's parking, There's parking right in front of them. Finally. Finally the croissant. I like a good croissant. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Croissant. 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 <laughs> oh, that's a good croissant. So that was sourdough croissant. That's next level. It's a classic. You can't go wrong with the classic. Yeah. But well, well, well made classic. What is on top? Almond. So it's almond on top. Okay. It's good. That's why it, it's a really good croissant. And the coffee is pretty good too. Like I tried mocha earlier. This one is salted caramel. Coffee makes me sleepy. Really? Yeah. That's fun fact. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, verdict. Everything okay. here is really good. Good. Not just the coffee. Yeah. For sure. Everything good. Yeah. This is definitely a must visit if you're gonna go to Publisher. To Publisher. We're headed to another stop. We'll see you guys there for some more good. Luna's Everyday Dining is a Filipino restaurant in Poblacion. And when we were conceptualizing this, we were thinking of the neighborhood. We wanted to present a Filipino restaurant that was more modern in its approach. People yes. always dread Mondays. Like, do you yeah. dread Mondays? Oh, I dread yeah. Mondays. Come on. me? Like, yeah. I mean, it's that sinking feeling of all of the bad things in yeah. life. But here at Luna's, the minute you enter, the vibe is really it's nothing a good vibe. like that. Yeah. It's a good vibe. All right, so we've so, come full circle. Yes. Back to our roots, back to Filipino food. We've, go, we've gone all around the world. The uh, menu conceptualization of Lunas is like the dishes I had going up. We have kare kare, we have the binigo ongan. I want to make uh, the guests feel like, parang, oh shit, this is so good. It's not vinegar, I think it's chili sauce. Mmm. Yeah. Paris. That's good. It's a Paris lumpia. I love it. I've never thought of Paris as an appetizer. Yeah, exactly. And in lumpia form. That's very inventive. I love it. And it works. Our pork binagong is cooked uh, porchetta style. You still get that liempo, pork belly, what you get usually the binagong. And what makes it different is the porchetta style. We uh, marinate it, we roll it with lemongrass, ginger, and garlic. After we roll it, we uh, bake it, and then we deep fry it a la minute, and then we bed it with uh, grilled eggplant. So you get that smoky flavor from the grilled eggplant, and you eat it with the porchetta. Uh, you get that fresh flavor from the lemongrass, and you get that saltiness from the bagaong. Just in time for my bite of the bin binagoong. Oh my guys, maybe it's because I remember Chef saying the meat was cooked infused with lemongrass. Right. So maybe that was the trick. It's fresh. Yeah. The magic of this dish. We also wanted to apply our learnings from like traveling. We have, let's say, like a nose to tail kare kare, which we grew up with and we love. Flavors are the same, flavors are the traditional flavors, but the way we're presenting it is different. We deep fry the vegetables first in batter and then we pour the sauce on top of it. I heard from Chef that the kare kare is best consumed hot. Let's do so it. we can try that. So this kare kare, the cool thing about it is that they call it Nose to tail kare kare. These are all the parts of the ox. So they have tripe, they have um, meat, they have you know vegetables as well. Mm. It's good, yeah. yeah. On the way here, I'm starting to fall asleep. Food coma. I'm back. I'm back. Moving to the next dish. That is the curry, right? The maranao curry. So the chicken pia parin that we have here is a maranao style. In Mindanao, we have this Indo-Malay influences. You get the turmeric, you get the ginger, you get the lemongrass. And then you infuse it with the coconut milk. So you get that creamy, 
deep flavor from the coconut. And then we use it three different kinds. So you get the coconut milk, you get the coconut yogurt, and you get the desiccated coconut on top of it. Okay, so we're just gonna get through this whole menu in front of us. We started at lunchtime. Yes. Restaurant number one was at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. um, we did another big meal in one restaurant. And um, we did tacos on, by the street Two side. small meals. Two so small meals. one is the only pans. Yes. And the other one is the good coffee. Good coffee was pretty good. And then to top it off, we had two more big meals with Japonesa and now here at Lunas. This was supposed to be the no alcohol crawl, but we can't resist. <laughs> yes, and since we're at the end of the crawl, that's the perfect way to end any Poblacion crawl. I mean, we tried that. We tried, we tried We tried Poblacion without the alcohol. Every single place we went to yes. offered alcohol. <laughs> it was, it broke my heart. Like everyone we met, no. like, hey, look, we're just here for the food. And they just stared at us, like in disbelief. Like, why are you even in Poblacion, <laughs> man? <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, Hit that like button, subscribe to spot.ph for more content coming your way. Spotted something to try? Send it over to spotted at spot.ph.